Today, we are going to look at ways of loading the hamstring with the goal of increasing our range of motion and developing strength at the end of the range of motion. Flexible and strong hamstrings will help you unlock press to handstand, a better pike push-up, and many other body weight movements. So let's have a look at my three preferred ways of doing the loaded hamstring stretch. Okay, before we get started with the exercise, there are two cues that I want you guys to understand so you can get the best stretch. One is don't pull your toes back going into dorsiflexion. This will pull your sciatic nerve, and although there are exercises to work on the sciatic nerve, what we're doing here is hamstring stretches. Second is, during this video, I will ask you to keep the knees locked out. But when doing the stretches, if you feel a lot of discomfort behind your knees because the knees are locked out, this is not where you want to feel the stretch. So instead of having your knees locked out, bend them ever so slightly until you feel less discomfort and more the hamstrings getting stretched, okay? All right, so let's look at the first exercise. It's called Stride Stance Good Mornings. This one comes from the great Emma Lewis, and I'll leave a link to his video in the video description. Let's first get into a stride stance, one foot forward and one foot back. The weight is on the front leg, and the feet are about a foot width apart. We then put the barbell or dumbbell or kettlebell on our upper back, hips facing forward, engage your core, front knee locked, and then hinge from the hip, always making sure to have a flat back. Push the hips back while you hinge down and keep going down until you feel the stretch on the hammies. And hold there for about five seconds and then go back up. We want you to do that for three sets of eight to 10 reps. Then my second exercise is the single leg, good morning with a dumbbell or kettlebell. First, you find a chair or a bench and place your right leg there. While holding the weights, we perform the same hip movement we did before with the stride stance good mornings. Engage your core, hips squared, and begin hinging from the hip until you feel the stretch. Once you feel the stretch, hold for about two seconds. And then this next part is important. Press your ankle down against the bench or chair and bring yourself up. Pressing the ankle down will contract the hamstrings, which is a contract relax PNF technique and that will help your hamstrings open up more. You want to do 10 repetitions, and when you're done, hold it in the bottom position for 30 seconds, breathing slowly and with control. And now let's have a look at my third exercise, the good and old Jefferson Curl. Very effective exercise for the entire posterior chain and spine health. If you're doing this for the first time, you want to definitely start with a very light weight, maybe two kilos dumbbell, and then you progress your way up to Olympic barbells, which you know are typically 20 kilos. We start on an elevated surface, stand nice and tall, holding your weight, and then you want to slowly start curling your spine. Start curling from the top of your spine, vertebrae by vertebrae, until you reach the bottom, and hold there for three seconds. And come back up, slowly re reversing the movement, again, vertebrae by vertebrae. Make sure to engage your glutes and hamstrings on the way up. You want lockdown knees for this exercise as well, but as I mentioned earlier, bend the knees ever so slightly if you're feeling too much discomfort on the back of the knees. Let's do three sets of eight to 10 repetitions with a 30 seconds hold at the bottom. As always, if you have any questions, any comments or feedback, please leave them in the comments section down below. I highly appreciate that. I love getting to productive discussions with you guys on the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that thumb up button to support the channel and also make sure to subscribe and press the bell notification button so you don't miss any of my calisthenics and mobility exercises. I will see you in the next one, legends. Peace.